Checking out, that's a little bit of the good news. Awesome photos. A lot of our viewers sending those our way. Watch Daily Blast Live, coming up next on Krem 2. You're watching Krem 2 News at 4. Welcome back. On Monday, we covered Gonzaga Prep alum Anne McLean's flight and docking at the International <laughs> Space Station. Well, now she's up there. She's settling into her new <laughs> home away from home, and the first part of her mission has started. Yeah, Krem 2's uh, Shayna Waltower joins us from the newsroom with updates on what McLean's doing and what's next for her research. Yeah, it's been two days since Spokane native Anne McLean launched into space hundreds of miles outside of the Earth. She started her miss mission in research of science demonstrations. Here's what she's been up to. First out is NASA's uh, Anne McLean. It's her third day in space, and she's orbiting about 200 miles outside of Earth. After she arrived in space, McLean and the two other astronauts docked their rocket and entered the ISS. She spent the day familiarizing herself with the station. She also reviewed some of its safety procedures. Since then, she started some of her initial work on her research project, studying how tissues and organs respond to gravity. Over the next couple of days, she'll be diving deeper into this research while working with the five other astronauts in the station. Outside of her busy work days, McLean has time to eat meals packed in special pressurized bags like this. She'll also spend about two hours every day exercising on specialized equipment to prevent bone and muscle loss. To keep in contact with family, she can call home at any time using a satellite phone that allows her to contact almost any place on Earth. And another way she'll be staying in contact with family, two times over the course of her six-month mission, a resupply ship will deliver materials to the space station. It will bring care packages from support staff or from her family. Inside of these packages are little gifts or small bags of some of McLean's favorite foods. 